today on Blind Date. Do you like me yet? Because we've been on a date for like 15 minutes. Yeah, and that's so far you're good. Two second chance daters are on their way to romance. I have thinned up my ass. I know, I've, I've seen a stripper, but never a wiper. Until she drops a bomb. That really sucks. Plus. So if they don't know how to treat a woman, then that's too bad for them. What every guy should know. If we don't like it, you won't get it. <laughs> it all begins now. Let's get going. OK. All right, awesome. On Blind Date. Boys and girls, I'm Roger Lodge, and welcome to the 30-minute party known as Blind Date. And we have got a terrific show for you today, so I'm going to go ahead and get right to it. And today we're going to kick things off with Petra and Martin. Now, Petra describes herself as very playful and says she's looking for a bright, sophisticated guy, which is why we're setting her up with Martin. He likes happy, down-to-earth women. And we already know these two have at least one thing in common. I grew up in South Carolina, but actually I was born in Germany. I grew up in East Germany, close to Berlin. I'm looking for a, a very happy girl um, who's um, very down to earth and not uh, high maintenance. I like men to be tall, um, very good looking. I am looking for love and I want a, a more serious relationship. It is harder to meet some real man here in the U.S. Part of my problem is that I'm always such a nice guy. I actually would love to meet someone that I maybe can spend the rest of my life with. Oh, come on. This has Wunderbar written all over it. Viel Glück und viel Spaß. That's uh, German for good luck and have fun. Hey, are you Petra? Yeah. Hi, I'm Martin. Wow. Martin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. Look at you. <laughs> well, that was a nice spot. Yeah, it definitely is. It's beautiful. So do you know that um, um, I lived in Germany for a little bit? You did? Yep. Where at? Um, outside of Munich. Yeah? In uh, München. My, my parents are German, so I oh, can awesome. speak um, a little German also. You do? Yeah. yeah. That's great. So, ich kann auch ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen. <laughs> yeah, das würde bestimmt nicht so gut kommen. <laughs> <laughs> we can't keep going like that. I know, exactly. <laughs> hey, you ready for um, our date? Yeah, sure. All right, let's get going. Okay. All right, awesome. <laughs> I'm Hi. Petra. I'm Karina. Nice to meet you, Petra. Nice to meet you, too. Hi there, I'm Martin. Hi, Martin. Nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. I'm actually going to start with Martin and drill him for a while, make him perfect for you, and then you come back and test him. Sound good? Yeah, definitely. Okay, All right. Come with me. I'll right, see you later. <laughs> OK, so I have five basic lessons on how to treat a woman for it. Da -da -da -da. We're going to start with lesson one. Did you open the door for her when she I wanted to, but it was already cracked open. <laughs> that is a horrible excuse. But I let I open. Oh! Very, very, very important. You always open a door for her. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Don't want. Right? All right, let's go at it. <laughs> well, let's go. That's like the worst thing a gentleman can do is like smack a ball and hit hit yeah. the date and I was like, yeah. I'm glad you're still not like unconscious <laughs> and not going to the hospital or anything like that. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> but you're a good sport, that's fun.
So what's some, some things that you find really annoying from guys, like behavior-wise or things they do? Go! Oh. Go! Oh. Go! Oh. I like guys that know how to treat a woman. Mm -hmm. So if they don't know how to treat a woman, then that's too bad for them. <laughs> What do you mean by that? Like, like being um, respectful and, mm -hmm. and, and... Respectful, yeah. That's it. <laughs> and obviously, it's a European beer. <laughs> they will find out what they got. Yeah. <laughs> Should be what? interesting. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Look at this sucker. Look at the size of this sucker. This will oh keep God. me. This will keep me busy all night. Kudos. Let me do a friendship drink. Ah, uh, yeah, that was good. It actually is good. So, like, um, the, the normal process I've learned, like, if you do a friendship drink, that you like get a, a quick um, um, kiss on the lips. It's nothing long. It's just like a quick pop kiss. I know. <laughs> but you wouldn't feel comfortable if I gave you a quick pop kiss. No. <laughs> No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I won't push it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't... Yeah. <laughs> um, like, like, pretty females, they're a pretty powerful position. You know, because like like they're like in, in a Western culture, like at the end, say yes or no, what's going to happen type thing. It's less like um, a bear. I don't know if like a, you know, like a brown bear. If 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 she, if a bear doesn't like their mate or something, mm -hmm. she'll just sit on her butt, you know, and, and it won't move. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. If we don't like it, you won't get it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I want to call you up and, and see if we can go out and um, see you get to know to each other a little bit more. Yeah, but, yeah let thank, me know when you're back. <laughs> thank you so much. Had a great, 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 great afternoon with you. <laughs> great day. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Take care. <laughs> Okay, a little clueless, yeah, but a nice guy. I mean, a really nice guy. He's just not Petra's guy. Post date Alvita Zanes on the way. Up next. Let's start a cult. I like you a lot. <laughs> Will his dream girl turn into a nightmare? I still feel kind of guilty because. What? Um, you married? I feel guilty too. Oh, uh, no. I'm not. What do you feel guilty about? That's next. Pretty females, they're a pretty powerful position, you know, because like like they're like in, in a Western culture, like at the end, say yes or no, what's going to happen type thing. That's true. If we don't like it, you won't get it. No. <laughs> and he ain't getting it. I don't think Martin was even close to what Petra was looking for. Martin, I'm very sorry. I'm just not interested in you. You're not my type. I think I was able to make her laugh today. Like she seemed very natural at different at certain times. That of some of the things I said and, and came out with a big smile. When he hit me in my stomach, I just thought, what a jerk. <laughs> Look where he's shooting that ball. I just got over excited and just smacked the ball really hard. <laughs> there won't be a second romantic date with Martin. Hey, you heard the lady. No second date with Martin. All right, let's put two more strangers together, although not strangers to our show. Say hello again to Rebecca and Barry. Their first dates, not real good. 
Damn, I'm horny. Yes, I got hornier when I turned 30. What do you do about these sudden urges? Um, I have increased my dating. Would you like to stay here and make out before we go out so I won't be so nervous at the goodnight kiss? Yes, you can just leave me here all alone. I'm sure there. you're used to that. OK, let's talk yeah, serious. Yes. Yes. You start. I'd like to take a nap. Well, hopefully Barry's been getting his rest. Sounds like he might need it with Rebecca. I forgot to get your name. I'd like to have that in case we have kids. I'm a personal trainer. Wow. And I'm really fat and overweight. We have a lot in common. <laughs> I got the Barry, <laughs> you're getting the oh, I got the <laughs> I'm just not really feeling you. So I think I'm gonna call it quits. Hi, nice to meet you. What's wow. the dog's name? This is Spike. Hello, Spike. And let's see, this here is Molly. Should we put these inside her? Uh, the dogs or the bags? The bag. Uh, Unfortunately, the doggies are coming. <laughs> the bags. Do you really? Oh, yes. That's really great. <laughs> Dare you? <laughs> Mm, mm, that's that's beautiful. That's really, <laughs> really good. That's really brave. Right. I'm impressed. <laughs> well, what the heck? You know how it goes. They make drugs for almost every disease nowadays. So I'm Southern. You know that, right? I'm not just stupid. I mean, I'm from the South. That's, no, that, that's what I noticed. It's like everybody got all fascinated by like comparing like who is the bigger hick when it was out there. It was like a sort of like a hick off. <laughs> hick offs are cool. Let's start a cult. I like you a lot. You would be really cool. You're pretty and fun and. <laughs> what would the cult be about? You need like a theme. Um, do you like me yet? Because we've been on a stage for like 15 minutes. Yeah, no, so far you're good. I need to get out. <laughs> I mean, we're moving just for starters, so it'd be a bad idea. <laughs> I'm here with Extreme Fitness okay. Boot Camp. Okay. And we're going to give you a workout, we're going to get you in shape. You're gonna have to move a little faster than I that. I can't move Keep faster on going. than that, actually. Keep on going. clap behind my back, is that okay? <laughs> yes, that'll be just fine. I wanna know why she's not doing any good. Oh, she man, she's saving her energy from the bedroom. <laughs> New Yorker, New Yorker. Come with me. <laughs> Spike, find a buffet, good boy. Go. Stand up my ass. I know, I've, I've seen a stripper, but never a wiper. That's great. <laughs> I know. Da -na -na -na. It's a hole in a nut. Get him hold your leg. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> He's going to pee somewhere between now and the door. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Well, no, I just thought you could oblige him. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? Who are you? Barry, Roger. Right? Barry, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. I'm Rebecca. Hi. Rebecca. Oh, good job, Spike. <laughs> Sleepy. I forgot about the dogs. Aren't you sleepy? Come here. Lay down, take a nap. Turn around. I would. I totally would. Is the thing. Close but your eyes. I know, but then my skirt will ride up. And no, I guess okay. that's the point. Let's give you back, Romy. <laughs> It just gets kind of crazy in California, you know. Why? Most people, what? you've been very nice, but most of them are just really, hey, you know, I don't want to use the term shallow. Yeah, I like the way you were. You kind of do things your own way. And, I like that independent spirit. Well, you can give me some tips. Because, oh, no, because I feel kind of guilty because... What? Um, you married? I feel guilty, too. Oh, no. What do you feel guilty about? Um, the date was set up before. I, I found a boyfriend and I have a boyfriend. I found a boyfriend and I have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend now? That really sucks. And I would, I would totally... I mean, someone asked me, and I totally would date you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You laugh when you don't cry. It's one of those books, I think. What do you do when you, when the laughter stops? I put dirt oh. on my head. OK, so you have a boyfriend, and you're dating someone. Wait, well, because the date with this was on the staff, so. Was it like today? <laughs> no. Or was it people?
If you had to pick between him and me, who would you pick? For what? <laughs> question in retrospect. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I have nothing to do but take you home. That just doesn't work for me. I'm, I'm disappointed because you're fun and you know you're smart and I had a really good time. And I just, uh, you know, I, I would like to see you again and I don't know what it means and don't know where we're going but you gotta have a boyfriend. So I'm just very disappointed. And you took good care of the dog and that's a good date too. Yeah. Home. Oh. Oh. Good spot. Good spot. Okay. Oh, it was nice meeting you. Okay. Good. Good. Poor Barry, you talk about a tough break. But let me just say, we had no idea Rebecca had a boyfriend. We really didn't. But we do know about Barry's sinister plan, and he'll share it with us next. Coming up. More blind date falling stars. She knows exactly what to do. Talking shades of blue. The Hall of Shames coming up. You married? I feel guilty too. The date was set up before. I, I found a boyfriend and I have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend now? That really sucks. Oh, that's just wrong. At least let the man finish his fajitas. Now let's find out just how disappointed Barry is. What really pisses me off is that she led me on all the way until dinner time, never told me she had a boyfriend. Then she springs it on me. It wasn't so funny when I had to tell Barry I had a boyfriend. Not funny for either of us. The best part of the date was everything because we were having a great time until I found out I didn't have a chance. I was very impressed and touched that Barry drank out of the doggy cup. I thought we really bonded, especially when we drank out of the same doggy cup. If Barry calls me tomorrow to hang, absolutely I'm there. If I feel like he wants a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, I can't. I'm going to stay friends with Rebecca. And I'm going to steal her from her boyfriend. Hey, I hate to admit it, but I'm kind of rooting for the guy. All right, coming up, daters who think they can sing. Oh, it's painful yet very entertaining. And it's next. You are the guy. Get off my stage. Welcome back. Now, sometimes our daters get the urge to break out in song. But you know, sometimes we wish they hadn't. Check this out. As I look in your eyes and see what you're after, feel the quiver in your thighs as you move faster. But don't rush. Baby, we have nowhere to go. Tell me, can we take it slow? She's not empty and confused. Scary moments are not new. She knows exactly what to do. Talking shades of blue. Don't you wish you could hear that again? She knows exactly what to do. To I was just kidding. I'm Roger Lodge. I'll see you next time.